How do you feel about the scene? Seeing that you host all these shows and shit, what do you think about the scene in Toronto? Can you can you tonight? like make that a better question? Like, what do I think about the entire hip hop scene in, in Toronto? Toronto? In Toronto, I honestly yeah. think it's it's important for us to all work together and enough with the egos, and especially when I do all my all female showcase, you know. And it's it's hard. It's really hard. So shout out to all the promoters and stuff because it is not easy putting together a show. These guys, you have ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes set. You literally only have to come and do your set. Show up, do your set, make the crowd happy, and leave. The promoter has so much work yep, to do. If ass. you're late, getting there. If you're not on time with the sound check, and yeah, you might be like, yeah, I'm a little bit late. That's all fine and dandy, but when but the artists have, usually make it the hardest, they're they, the ones they not on time for sound check. But then and all everything that shit. falls up on us. Exactly. Everything falls up you on us. We everything. get blamed for everything. No matter how hard we work for everybody else in the scene, we always looked at as a fucking asshole, yep. and because we have to, we have to make the tough calls. If I don't get you on a slot on time that's not necessarily my fault yeah if somebody acts up you gotta take it i gotta take it right and i gotta take it with a fucking and with that being said too no i want you to continue but i want to make some noise because i think he gets a lot of flack shout out to my man robbie g yo shout out to robbie (laughs) big shout out to robbie g hey man learn the wu-tang members before you (laughs) you put that shit out though bro everybody hating on robbie g can suck a dick (laughs) <laughs> wow. I'll take that smoke. Wow. Yeah, I love Robbie G. Robbie G knows I love him. I also love Peter Jackson. Robbie's much, my dude. Know? I don't They're know him on that well. personal level, so I really can't say anything bad about him, but I did laugh my ass off at that. That shit was funny. That shit was hilarious. He, 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 he bounced back. He bounced back. He bounced back. It's whatever, man. Like once like it doesn't fucking matter. Like, nah, man. You've never been so high. At least he didn't dye his hair as a rainbow. He could have just said it was a joke right from the beginning. Exactly. (laughs) Right? But no, it's it's hard on us. You know, we have to literally make everybody happy with us and, and you know we can't we can't we're not fucking Wizard of Oz no. we can't snap our fingers and when you miss your t- even if you miss your time slot by five minutes that means we're already five minutes behind which is just a stressful it's no, that's stressful fact. being a promoter is the most annoying job in hip hop I tried it. running shows for a few and years and I love working like when with I lived all in my Brantford, girls like, I did ran shows for hard. like five ten years a little easier there still annoying and then once I moved and I was like I, like I booked like not I, I booked my second tour. What up, Luz? Not my first, but my second tour I booked. And after that headache, I'm like, yo, fuck this shit. Like, <laughs> no, I'm it's a, definitely. I just do other shows. Other it's people. It's definitely put on, a labor I mean? of love, but I ain't even gonna fucking lie. I lost a fucking gang of money on my last show. That yeah, I man, did. we always right? lose fucking, money. We there's yeah. like that's like something that yeah. you have to be willing to put up. No, with. but I lost a fucking. Well, like Robbie, you, you know what I mean? Saying? Like I lost a lot of money yeah. on the last Ooh. show. That and I, I want to so. dig in Robbie's pockets, but like, like truth be told, like homie. Straight up was losing money for years. Like, yeah. like I remember him telling me before. He's like, man, it was like two and a half years before like turned a profit. It turned a profit. You, gotta love you it, like you literally, can't do it for the money. but that's and what being an entrepreneur. You can't do it for the money. Not, not no, yeah. but that, but that, but that's and that's what being entitled entrepreneur to being paid is. and shit. You know what I mean? Everyone yeah. wants money. No yeah. one wants and then to put when you the do work. shine, like you know Peter and Robbie and stuff, people want to like throw shots. Like, oh, this guy just does this and money grab. This is like, yo, you not watch the fucking how many years this guy grinded to be successful. How many yeah. hits they took? Like. Yeah. No, I absolutely understand. I think I think some of the problem is with some of these promoters' own. Shout out to the dope. I think promoters. the biggest problem is entitled rappers. Enti- no, no, yeah, no, no, no. Listen, I agree. listen, listen. 100%. A part of it, a part uh-huh. of it is yeah. a part of it is Give me that. The smoke. A part of it is that, but a part of it is that we actually have no hierarchy system in this city right now. You know what I mean? The promoters are honestly the biggest hierarchy. Like no, I mean really around rappers. in our local among, scene. I mean amongst rappers, there's no real fucking hierarchy. Like there's yeah. literally Drake. And, and everybody, everybody else, below. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's at the point where, like, you could literally, like, like I've worked with a few guys. Well, it's like our capitalist system, too. There's the 1% and everybody else. Like, yeah, there's no but, real middle class, but, like, everybody's yeah, living within yeah, the yeah, same yeah. means. But you go to somewhere like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you go to somewhere like ATL, and they're going to have a hierarchy set up. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we have no visible hierarchy set up I mean, here. That's what like, I love most about it, because it means, it means that anybody has a fucking chance to throw no, a No, but then what that, means is, yeah. what that means is when these shows are being put on, the promoters aren't necessarily getting the best local artists to be the open. Openers. They're I getting am. the guys who can who My can you know say bang. attract the most hey. people. My girl's fucking Honestly, bang. who are the best local rappers? But are, are, like it's give or take. <laughs> no, no, we, no. Well, we you know what? Time. I can't disagree that promoters don't always go for the best artists on bills. That's Shout one reason Sorority. why I respect. Um, oh, Alex, happy birthday, Fun Up Entertainment, uh, right? Because right, he doesn't right. look at a pull. He looks at. 
who suits the show best right. and who he thinks is talented. Right. Is that's what Alex fun yeah, up yeah, entertainment. Yeah. Right, right. So that's why I respect what he does. But like for some of these other dudes, like everybody get mad, like, ah, pay to play and all this shit. But I'm like, yo, at the end of the day, like no, if you're investing in your career, you're investing in your career. Have you been career. taking thousands of dollars losses for multiple right, years? Yeah. Right, right. Like, no, you know what? At the end of the day, if this is something you want to do and you live off of, that shit. then you need to have some security there. Absolutely. Like you're not going to work for fucking nothing. You know what no, I mean? No, absolutely. Right. And this, this is, You're not this going is, to work with the chance that... But it's you, different nowadays you know I mean? because now it never used to be like that because when you were discovered, you were discovered. Yeah. Right. And you didn't have to pay. And the and you had the people behind you paying for everything for you. You would nowadays, be Nowadays, everybody's a fucking paid. rapper and your goddamn grandma. Yeah. yeah. Which makes it more fucking harder for talented people to fucking get in. Yeah. And it makes the people that get, are is, super talented right. get upset because they don't feel they need that they have to put the money in. Yeah. Because they still have that fucking mindset, right? Well, like, right, no, and that ties into what I'm saying where, where you got these promoters and they're yeah. just... Just trying to throw the person yeah, on the nice. bill who can <laughs> attract the most people. But at the end of the day, if you're, you know, what I'm I, I don't even look at pay to play as an issue. It's like, listen, if somebody wants to invest in their career, who the fuck am I to look at that person and say, exactly. you're fake because you spent X amount of dollars to get on the show? That's same no, thing as Facebook. That's what they want to say. Hey, that's promotion. what they want. You don't, exactly. you don't pay rent. You don't put exactly. money in a living. You, think, you don't put money in your belly for exactly. food. You don't put money in your fucking face. You think exactly. rapping? Do you 10, think 10, hours drink? and a hundred grand. That's what it takes to be a pro at fucking anything. Do you 10, think before views hours came out, it takes ten years to become a success? Do you think before views Basically. came out, when the Six God was watching Billboard was up, that was free? You know what I mean? Like no, people, absolutely. like everybody pays for everything. All advertising, absolutely. everything. You gotta pay your dues, Do man. Exactly. And, that, and that ties into what I'm saying about a lot of dudes <laughs> you put in, money in. in our in our scene who do not understand one iota up, of the business Jeff, Jeff. aspect None. of this Less industry. So they sit around all day and they try to talent? spew like, their please. opinion as if it's fact up, and Jeff. they complain about their position, but they're not offering anything to the actual industry of any worth or any value. Yep. And that's a problem that I see within our city is our worth and our value. We're promoting... I'm not saying we're promoting anything. The but egos we, take it away, though. Yeah, absolutely. Egos and our lack of knowledge, our lack of networking, our lack of professional networking. Like, the the, the shows, <laughs> the grade of shows has dropped significantly since Big Ticket has stopped doing shows. Yeah. Oh, Chris, That's a please fact. bring them back. Yeah, because Chris you know was the saying? last level of kind of like that hierarchy. But you know what, to be honest hub. with you, like, this is why I love media. To be honest with you, like, I rap... Ne- Better than ninety percent of any of now. these rappers Hi, out here. Right, right. Anybody right. in Toronto, ninety five percent of you, I spit better than you. So you know what I mean. You want smoke? Right I'll take yeah, that. I'm smoke. saying that right now. Yeah, I'll take that. Give smoke. me the smoke. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll, I'll wrap it. my ass off. Oh my god, rap battle you know right mean? now. Please. I'll rap fuck. better than oh you. I rap better okay, than you. Okay, yo, yo, okay. Yo. Rap battle for the t-shirt. There's a couple people that might not rap better <laughs> than me. Rap battle for the fucking shirt. You want no, that's, that smoke? That's kind of cool. Let's do it. I'm you, not even trying you guys to, both. I like, I'll fucking, we'll judge shit. it. We, we get the shirt away or some shit. Yeah. But, wow, but you I'm don't saying, want that smoke, dude, because Dustin's a sick-ass rapper. Yeah, he is a sick-ass rapper. Yeah. And you think you're better I'm than him? I'm a sick-ass rapper. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people... like. The point I'm getting at is the fact that... I wanted to go live with and my phone This is the point I'm getting at, though, is the fact that... I fucking don't care about rap anymore. I much rather wow. do media and shit. Okay. No, because you I know understand what? where you're coming from. We don't want you to rap. Do you either. know what you gotta do in this fucking industry now? <laughs> Unless you wanna fucking sit there and fucking dish You gotta out create money, a name for yourself. Dish out money. You gotta dye your hair fucking purple, get face tattoo. You gotta do something to set yourself out Absolutely. to stick out but in the they all look Even the like exact Tom same. Tom McDonald exactly. is the best example I can think of yeah. because he can rap. But he fucking still went with all those gimmicky shit to yeah. like make himself stand out. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, no, I'm not going to get my face tatted, fam. I don't have one tattoo and I'm not about to right. get it to pop. I'm not you know what I mean? Like, sorry, my, my moral yeah. standards of me as a human mean more right, than fucking. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? No disrespect to people that do that shit. No, I You know can't. what I mean? But like, the rap has become corny, man. It's, yeah. it's, it's a fucking popularity contest amongst fucking things that you could pay for online. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have integrity. I'd rather get 500 hits on a video than get 2 million and know no, that I paid for 80. 800,000. Oh, and that's what I'm saying. Everyone's paying for everything yeah. now. The Integrity Instagram means a lot everything. to me. Well, you know what I mean? And the, the industry's lost that. The industry's lost that. No, and that's what I'm saying. And that's why I'd rather do media, man. You know what? I'm a rap nerd, end of the day. Right, I love right, rap. Right. You're still going to love it. You're still going to love it. I'll still rap. I'll still put music so out. I'll be more strategic about now. the way I put it out. But why not? That's why you know. No, but that's why I say there's no. That's why I say there's no hierarchy in this city. You know. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, there was once a hierarchy. Yeah, absolutely. There was absolutely, and the circle was as high as you could fucking go before Drake. But depends. That's on a rap level. Then you get to the. 
the guys working at the label. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Moses Again, different the behind the people. scenes, for sure, for sure. Ramos, yeah. the REMGs, and yeah. you know, well, a lot of the bookers and promoters. I no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Brizzle, the first ball fucking saying. pick so up a call So, what I'm saying right now is like, it's, 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 crazy. it's, it's Jared. Shout out to Jared. Hey, it's Toronto. Jared. Toronto right now, like, we need to... We need to work on on our um. We're still here. We need to work on just our our, our professionalism. You know what I'm saying? That's like, one thing Chris always uh, said. That's somebody coming to buy one of my shirts. Yeah, hey. Hey. Big, 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 big. Support the local brizzle. We need to get over our our American inferiority complex. We don't need them to make us the same way England don't need them to make them. And once we make ourselves, we'll be made there because people are like, oh shit, this shit's popping over there. And we need to just stop fucking, you know what I'm saying? We need to stop hating on anything that, that we as an individual <laughs> didn't put out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason why I can't show love and support other motherfuckers and, right. a, a, instead of just hating them. you like, oh, that shit sucks. Fuck them. Blah, 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 blah. You know, like, whatever, yeah. man. You know what? I think I'm at the point where, like... I get the point you're at. Though. All of us rappers who really rap, yeah. we just quit rapping and just let all these fucking young kids come take the generation, take the I'm shit, not even fucking mad at run that. it to the ground. I'm not even <laughs> mad at that. Do what you want to do. You know I'm what I mean? I'm not even mad at it. Do, do all the gimmicks and all that shit and do it like disco this shit. You know what I mean? And then we can just have like, this man, my dream was always to retire, not make any more music and fucking manage my homeboy Shaolin or something. He's tour manager. Hey, Shaolin's dope. Shaolin's dope. Shaolin's dope. Shaolin's one of the dopest up and coming kids ever, man. He fucking brings a fucking noise. Absolutely. He does shows and shit. Absolutely. Oh That's my, my God, homie. I gave, him, I gave him his first show. I, I brought him to. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, I haven't seen just, him in a while still, he's, too. He's probably out in LA or he's probably doing something behind Good the scenes him, right now. Or he's somewhere thing, warm where he can skateboard, go, you know? You have yeah. to go somewhere else to make it big in Toronto. Yeah. You can't you no, cannot become facts. locally famous here, which is sad. Tory Lanez was living in Miami for time before he yeah, popped. Yeah, dude. Hey. Yeah, see, I'm the opposite though, because I I got famous in Toronto or in Vancouver. There you hey. go. <laughs> Shout out West, West Coast. Let's go Canada. West Coast. What up, family? I feel West like Coast. Vancouver's honestly the place to be. To, like, right now, pop it seems in Canada, like it. Yeah, yeah it fucking well, seems actually, like it at the moment. No, no, they're actually like done with MCs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's weird out there right now. So they ain't got now. no love for Why Snack not? and Merc. Or is Merc well, from Vancouver? Well, listen, like well, they're or? just they yeah, just fucking sure. took over. Actually, Merc. Now that's a recap. I. I just know too much. Brevner, I know they're, Brevner's They're all family, well. right? But, yeah. um, Mad child. We don't want any more Merc smoke. He got at us. No, yeah, did he? Yeah. He should have. Well, we got at him. I love those boys. Those boys are my family. I'm like Merc, man. We didn't get at him. We just asked the question. Yeah. Does he pay for views? And he said, nah, that's a waste, man. I believe move. him. Yeah. I and I him. agree. He None of us said he doesn't have to pay for views, man. He sells out clubs. Yeah, and stuff. I know. I I've seen him sell I out clubs. I knew those boys before they were fucking selling out shows and shit. Like, yeah. effing back in the day, like 2000 and fucking I know. I seen you rapping. You were with them in like eight years ago. You're posting like fucking. Yeah, that was for you too, so y'all fucking notice, okay? Oh, okay. Shout out Stacey. She knows all the motherfuckers. I do. I'm very has got stunting way. and yeah. oh, oh, stunting oh, oh, on her oh, bag oh, right oh, now. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, what time is it though? Because hey. I don't know about y'all. Hey. I'm hungry bag. as fuck. I'm, I'm hungry. It's eight o'clock. I gotta. Yeah. I, gotta I gotta get my ass to Loblaws before they close and pick Bob up some Loblaws. You, you guys all gotta open up your e-transfers. Oh yeah, I want to do right now. All right, five bucks. Um, so make sure you holler at me if you guys want to teach us. You guys especially because I know you guys love a Brazil and there's no way that your girlfriends, Tinder dates, or wives don't want. Brizzle on a pit bull. Do you support a man buying his side chick a Brizzle shirt? Yeah, but I don't. Uh, you do? I don't. I I approve the Sailor fucking message. I just yeah, exactly. I don't <laughs> approve side pieces but unless the wifey knows about it. Like if it's like a, it's not really a side piece if the wifey knows about exactly, it. Exactly, but that's that's the cool part. Mm, maybe, but yeah, I don't is care. It though? Well, I told like don't don't tell me if it's if wifey knows piece. about Shout it. He's probably doing threesomes and shit. Yeah, but, you know. I ain't never on the sideline. Fuck that. That's what's up. You're always the main. I'm the main bitch. Yeah, I'll make you sandwiches. My side bitch. I've my actually main made bitch, my boyfriend. My main bitch don't love my ass no more. I've actually made more sandwiches no for more. my boyfriend this year than I have in my entire life for myself. My side bitch. That's crazy. Bitch, and that's literally in the last three weeks. Do you make a good no sandwich? I, I mean, you have to no ask more. him. He's still asking. Do you them. know what's funny? Like, I make a sandwich <laughs> with the same ingredients my girl uses. And I'll be like, oh, this sandwich ass. She'll go make that sandwich. I'll be like, yo, that's it's the, it's fire. the way you put it on. Yo. And you, if you make it with love or not. It's the if love you're just love. Doing it, that's, if you're just doing it because you're hungry, it doesn't taste the same as it made it for somebody else. And 
when I cook for my girls, like the same thing is like I feel like I gotta impress her. So I'm like, you know what I mean? Like I got a soup at home cooking right now because she just had surgery. So she comes home Aww. tomorrow and Aww. she can't really eat like a whole lot, right? So she gotta like so I've been making the soup since yesterday. I started oh my God, I, yes. I roasted the peppers yesterday and yes, just cooked them ma'am. in the water for like four <laughs> hours. Email then I Stacey. added the broth. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And then today the I took t-shirt. the other veggies and you know, yes. like I just I like I've been building this soup up. But it's like if I cook for myself, like I'm gonna make a Mr. Noodle. You know what I mean? I won't even yeah. let the noodles th- get <laughs> All the way soft, you can't I mean, like wait half the, hard still. You and I'm can't wait the three like, to four minutes. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Fucking rush your I like making my give a shit less. Like, I'll put some man. vegetables in that shit. And like, I won't even use a soup package. I'll use like Montreal steak spice or something like yeah. that. You know? <laughs> Sorry, what are you making? Then you put that in there? And my fucking Mr. Noodles? I'll put you a whole Mr. bunch of shit. Oh, so you like turn the Mr. Noodles fire. into like it's a, a crack, gourmet meal. Cork, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's kind of fire. You know what's sodiums in that shit, though? I started doing that with, my, shit, I I doing that with my sidekicks recently. With my pierogies and shit, you get the meat and the sour cream, and you mix all the fucking pierogies, the, the beef and shit. And the, hey, yo, oh what is God. it? What, you make like homemade pierogies? Oh, fuck yeah. What, what the fuck? You're not allowed back on the show until you bring us homemade pierogies. What is a pierogi, You better make them with love. I've three times in my life, and I'm not sure what they are. They're like the cheapest thing ever. Give this man a poo bag. It's like a boiled patty. Yeah. Okay. Like potatoes, no, 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 like man, pierogies. I, I said I had pierogies like three times in my life. I just don't Polish know what they are. So you need some Polish They're just friends. like, yeah, they're just. Yeah, yeah, I, I got a lot of Polish friends. My, my first pierogi was like a blueberry pierogi. It's getting heated. A blueberry pierogi. Blueberry yeah, waffle. Straight up. He, up to my he boy can't Paul, stand man. the heat in the a kitchen, so he's trying pierogi. to get the fuck yeah. out right now. You waffled the pierogi? Yeah. That's nasty. Blueberry pierogi. I don't know what the fuck that means. Are you sure you don't mean a crepe? Can we just. No, stop. Straight up. No. Big up to my Polish people in Parkdale. Blueberry? Oh, PK all day. Yeah. PK Polish in my day. blood, and I never heard of a blueberry. You know, yeah. With That's some locals crazy. on my yeah. playlist. You Polish? I didn't even know that. Yeah, I don't crazy. know what kind my of. Boy, my boyfriend's Polish too. Yeah, I think you're hanging out with some Polish. weird Shout Polish, Polish people. people. Like they like yeah. they like fake Polish. That's what's nah, up, man. They real Polish. They came <laughs> no, they're probably more Polish than me. Yeah, yeah, they straight from Poland. They I'm a mutt. Well, well, I got apparently I got to eat some more pierogies. Yeah, I've had them like three times in my life. I loved pierogies. Do you want my phone or birthday? No, your email address. Oh yeah, I got that. So I can send you the money for, my for the shirt. Phone number. I was like, I don't give that out to boys anymore. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I have your phone number already. Womp, uh, womp, womp. Or I can damn, get it. If I, if I really need your halo and everything. <laughs> if I really need your phone number, I'm sure I can get it. You Stacey. probably fucking have it. And if you don't, I'll be very disappointed. Yo, right? random what thought though. In that drunken love song by Beyonce, is it not one of the most awkward things you've ever heard in a song when have she you re- seen the video? Re- when she repeats surfboard? Yeah. Or skateboard or whatever. Surfboard. 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 What is a surfboard? That's the most awkward shit I've ever heard in a song. I think it's a sexual act. Yeah, Yeah, she's riding the wood. She's like, surfboard. But just the way she says it. Like, that was the most awkward shit I think I've ever heard in a song. Surfboard. Or she waxed her box. Surfboard. It's because you know how you wax your surfboard, right? Like, I'm actually kind of convinced. (laughs) I'm kind of convinced she's a robot sex doll after that that surfboard. (laughs) But we'll get into that in 2019. Yeah, we'll get into that in 2019. MLNY breaking records. I'm the fuck out of here. They can sign themselves out. (laughs) (laughs) This kid is wild, man. You ain't getting through me, homie. All right, so this is our last episode of 2018. (laughs) We'll be back 2019. It's been a fucking blast. Mike Stone, Kelly Maloney, Stacey Brizzle was our guest today. And um I had yeah. fun.